We're going to force you to make a decision. Do you want to check the three-point shot of the drive? And on Corey Fisher, you might want to get a hand up. Game had a 19-point effort against UConn in a loss during the week. After the turnover, Reynolds finds Fisher, an open look for three. Got it. His second triple already. Well, there you go. I mean, Scotty Reynolds, you wouldn't define him as a lockdown defender, but he gets some tips and steals. St. John's at 12 and 6 overall. 2 and 4 in Big East play. Here's Reynolds. Struggled the other night against Rutgers, but hits a three there as he was uncovered. Yeah, and Norm Roberts just reacted, so he was very upset with his guys. And Villanova. His numbers over the last 10 games, Doris, are ridiculous. Reynolds, even with that nine point effort against Rutgers, he's shooting almost 60% from three point land and averaging 22 points per game during that stretch. He'll tell you, I'm just, I'm more about taking quality shots than getting shots off, and that's a huge difference. Here's King, a beautiful pass. He's going to be fun to watch for the next couple of years as Pena scores and is fouled. Taylor King, a Duke transfer, another weapon off the bench for Jay Wright. Make Villanova basketball on a seven-point lead. The Wildcats seeking their first 18-1 start since 1950-51. And another basket, this one inside by one of the other freshmen we were talking about, Malik Wayans. Okay, I love this kid. I mean, he's got blazing speed. The bench getting the bulk of the points for St. John's. They have the lowest scoring starting five in the Big East as Pena throws it down off the inbound pass. Well, terrific execution. That's a case where St. John's is concerned about the multiple screens. The field and on a 20 to two run. We've seen Villanova come back from big deficits. We've also seen them blow big leads this year. Pena again. Great look by Corey Fisher. Yeah, it's interesting. Norman. Eight straight wins overall. 6-0 in the Big East. The only remaining undefeated team in league play. Dwight Hardy came onto the floor for St. John's. They were down 14 to 5. Scotty Reynolds trying to get the Wildcats on a run. Do what Hardy did for St. John's earlier in the half. In February of 2000, King another long three. This time it was short. Rebound by Corey Stokes. Spins and scores. And a St. John's foul. This may be a day where Villanova doesn't have its A game, but you got to grind it and grind it. They can win when they don't have their best stuff. But how about this nice looking spin move to take contact? And, and the hardest part about this move is understanding how to get your shoulder square to the rim and having a feel. See, this is from playing over and over and over. The move by Kennedy couldn't finish. Out to Fisher. Well, they lost to Connecticut by 16 the other night, but just two of 17 from three. Another three point opportunity. This one for Fisher. Seventh on Villanova. Fisher, yeah. one of those New York kids who playing for Jay Wright. In the NBA, that probably wouldn't be a good call. <laughs> Fisher comes back with a steal. One on two. Finishes with the left hand. And another three-point opportunity. Three-point try. Yuru with a rebound, and Burrell went down hard. So it's five on four for Villanova. Reynolds all the way. Slaps it home off the glass. You know, what, you know what's been most impressive about Scotty Reynolds is being solid all year. Got the lowest starting five, lowest scoring starting five in the league. Fourth best bench in terms of points. Waynes gets down the lane, fouled by Coker. Another three-point opportunity for Villanova. Now, this is something he specializes in. There was a guard-to-post switch, and Wayne said there is no... Speed kills and Malik wins. Slowly but surely at Clemson. What a great environment, too, this morning for game day, huh? Fabulous. They'll be rocking the night. Here at the Garden, seven seconds remaining in the half. Scotty Reynolds with a hand in his face. Hits a two. Villanova within one. <laughs> that was terrific by Evans, leaving no doubt. And a great block, and just again be decisive on the defensive end against Villanova, and he was there. Stokes with a three. Villanova started the first half. Redding clears. Villanova has not led since early in the first half, and it was 14. Well, and they get a great backdoor pass here to Redding for the basket. Nice. Top five was a decade ago against Duke. Can they knock off the number four team in the country and hand Villanova its first? Big East loss of the year.
They got a two-point lead on the Wildcats as Pena drops and ties it at 46. Quickly ahead to Kennedy, he'll challenge Pena. And a jump ball called by Bob Donato. It'll go to Villanova on the possession arrow. Excellent defense in transition by Villanova. And the Wildcats will have the ball when we come back. Check out the D by Pena playing with three fouls on DJ Kennedy. A bad one there at the side of the backcourt. Reynolds on the drive. How many times have you seen him get in the lane like that in his four years at Villanova? Yeah, uh, just really good use of the body around the window. Here's Kennedy off the bounce, long three. Not there, rebound by King, who averages six boards per game off the bench in limited minutes. We love guys who will rebound out of their area. Look at Wayne's drive and score. The freshman from Philadelphia today. Kentucky, Arkansas, Kansas, Iowa State, which is up next on ESPN, as Reynolds in transition, spins out the three. Yeru, the offensive rebound, can't stick it in. Got it back. One more try, it goes. There's my point. Reynolds is to Villanova as uh, Reynolds comes up with a steal here, finds Armwood with the stop. It's getting away from you. Do you want a timeout? I think you got to get one. It's getting away from your guys. Your body language has been bad, and yeah, he's going to get one. 10 nothing. Villanova run to open up. A 58-49 lead. But still 11 minutes remaining. Now only two timeouts left for St. John. It's about being as sharp as you can for as long as you can. You're the underdog. And it's not about 20 minutes or 25 minutes. It's about 40 minutes. And I mentioned the turnovers at the half. Careless play, uh, pass leads to numbers for Villanova. And Armwood finishes with authority. I mean, how about that play? He does not have a great angle. That's just great athleticism. That second look shows how special that play was. Letting a cross picked up by Hardy. Redding with a good look. Sutton with the finish. 12 0 run for Villanova. Hold here since that hot start. King with the rebound. Here's Reynolds off the bounce. So tough. And the Big East player of the week, Scotty Reynolds, now with 19 points. And the right guy shooting it. Here's Booth. He'll drive on Stokes. Spin. Kick it out to Kennedy. Can't hit the three. Evans with the offensive rebound. Good pass. Great block by Armwood. Villanova ball. Three on two. He felt like Scotty got hit on the route to the rim. But how about, there's been a number of times where you've seen Villanova do this, just this, twice on the pipes. Looks like St. John's is going to get an easy one, and somebody, whether it's King or Armwood, has an answer. No, sir. Hit. Four minutes to play. Don't forget number three. Kansas up next at Iowa State. Tough shot for Redding. Biggest lead for Villanova at 12 points.